Hey there guys, it's me Chantal. So for today's video, as you can see from the title, i-share ko po sa inyo yung aming final reporting health assessment na subject namin. So some of you nag-chat kasi sa akin kung saan daw mapapanood and kung pwede ko daw ba upload sa YouTube ko. And pumayag naman yung mga group tweets ko na ma-exposed. Haha, <laughs> joke lang. So ayan, pumayag naman sila na i-upload ko din sa aking YouTube channel. So ito na yun guys. So before mag-start yung video, gusto ko na mag-thank you sa aking mga group mates classmates, and sa aking mga professors na naka-appreciate ng aming reporting and naka-appreciate ng aking editing. Thank you so much, guys. By the way, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, ayan, mag-start na And I am Shanta Lati, your anchors, anchors for, for today. today. It's for our first report, blood chemistry procedure introduced as an often part of our routine checkup. Here is Elizabeth Lopez reporting live at Toronto, Canada. Elizabeth. Thank you, Steph. The blood test called blood chemistry has introduced us a procedure defined to be a common test done often during a daily routine checkup. It can also be taken any time, as verified by the Canadian Cancer Society here at Toronto, Canada. Blood chemistry test, also known as chemistry panel, has many types that measure amount of certain chemicals in a blood sample, such as enzymes, electrolytes, fats, hormones, sugars, proteins, vitamins, and minerals, which is grouped and measured at the same time. Also, with this test, certain organs' functionality and risk for abnormalities will be able to find. The Organization for Bi added other significant purposes of having this procedure, which they stated to be as well for learning about information of the client's current general health and body's electrolyte balance, for helping in diagnosing potential disease or condition, for providing levels of baseline chemicals to compare with future blood chemistry, for assessing how a treatment is affecting certain organs, and also for monitoring another condition as part of a follow-up checkup. Furthermore, other common types of blood chemistry tests are electrolyte panel, kidney function test or renal panel, liver function test, basic metabolic panel, and comprehensive metabolic panel. The use and purpose of these are a flash on your skins. Interpretation of the results are said to be given as numbers and often depend on certain factors, including sex, age, and medical history. That should be compared to a normal reference range and to previous results. The results would serve as basis of the procedure appropriate for the diagnosis and or revision for a treatment plan. Sources have also emphasized that only the certified doctors should only be the one to interpret and explain any blood cancer test results for the patient. This is Elizabeth Lopez reporting live at Toronto, Canada. Back to the studio. Okay, by the way, Elizabeth, can I ask about how this procedure is done? Uh, were you able to take an insight about it? Yes, sir. From what the doctor has reported to us earlier, since the test is done to detect um, conditions, specifically disease, examiners will extract the blood from the client's veins to be assessed in the laboratory through microscopes and other equipment. And as per them, the actual blood chemistry may be different in procedures depending on what chemical is being measured, due to the reason that some medicine can affect the result of the blood chemistry. Sometimes a patient will be asked to have fasting or stop a particular medication in order to get an accurate result. 
the doctor also said that before the actual procedure, they made sure that the assigned examiner would provide further instructions and write information to the client having the test. Alright, thank you Elizabeth. For the next report, Capillary Blood Glucose Test or CVG Monitoring for Clients with Risk or Presence of Diabetes. Patrick Makasasa, take it away. Testing of blood glucose level in hospitals can now be done rapidly through a capillary blood glucose monitoring or CBGM from the post of the Oxford Medicine. This has replaced the patient's home urine glucose testing or physician's office staff testing as this procedure is much more capable of more accurate results and can determine the exact amount of glucose in patient's blood. Hospitals has now introduced the capillary blood glucose monitoring in the healthcare area. This procedure that seeks to control or lower the risk for diabetes is done through examining the patient's blood glucose level with an accurate result. Sources have reported that with a collected CPG result, healthcare practitioners will use this as a baseline for adjusting the treatment and control needed to achieve the target blood glucose level in such cases of patients with either controlled condition by medication or insulin injection. CBG monitoring may be done every 4 hours or 2 hours before or after meal, which depends on the physician's discretion. It is also known as pattern monitoring and can help ensure that the optimal treatment is chosen and is effective. You can check on your screens the patients who are eligible for the said procedure. Capillary blood glucose monitoring as well serve as management for outpatient with fluctuating blood sugar levels or during infections or other illnesses. For viewers who are asking about how this procedure is done, CBGM is being performed through inserting the test strip into glucose minute meter strip and then the lancet into the lancing device and then the finger will be pricked on and, and will gently be squeezed in the necessary. The blood will be applied on the test strip and then the result will be weighted and stored into a glucometer that displays on the glucose concentration. After that, within 10 to 20 seconds, your result will appear in the screen. This is Patrick Masasa reminding you all to observe hygiene and sanitation during the procedure to avoid risk for infection. Back to the study. Thank you, Patrick. And our news will be right back after a short break. take part in blood chemistry test. The duty of nurses goes beyond just performing the test. In fact, all throughout the process, your nurse will always be by your side. During pre-test, the nurse will provide you the necessary information. That would be what type of test will be done, its purpose, and the preparation before the test. For intratest, the nurses will ensure that the equipment for the procedure was properly sterilized. The nurse will also provide you the emotional support you need to maintain your vital signs within the normal weight. And lastly, amid the post-test, the nurse will be monitoring your vital signs by comparing the one from pre-test and post-test. Keep safe!
Metabolic screening or newborn moratory screen is developed for early diagnosis in newborn patients. The said procedure that is done as the first test to babies allows the health providers into giving early treatments and management if any life-threatening case is present. Hence, being able to help the child to cope with the metabolic disorder and live a healthy life. Mr. Sulusi, MD of the Kids Health from NEMRS website stated that metabolic problems occur when certain metabolic enzymes happen to malfunction or missing. This condition is alarming as metabolism is the ability of the body to convert food into energy that an individual uses daily in order to function and physiologically develop well. If metabolic issue is there, the newborn baby would probably experience metabolic disorders. As specified by Dr. Salusi, metabolic disorders in newborn screening includes phenylketonuria (PKU), methylmalonic acidemia, maple syrup urine disease (MSUD), tyrosinemia, citrullinemia, and medium-chain acyl-CoA dehydrogenase (MCAD) deficiency. With this, the metabolic screening seems to be very essential for newborn babies' health condition monitoring, especially those that do not show signs during their first 24 to 48 hours of life. The newborn metabolic procedure is done through blood spot screening test. This step is also called heel stick because in here, we are going to pick the baby's heel to get a blood sample and examine it to determine whether there are any serious problems. If we're having this procedure, of course, we will inform the parent or guardian, especially on the second testing. After the first blood test, a second monitoring will happen after two weeks of birth during the follow-up appointment with the healthcare provider. And then, if results show that the baby's condition is alright, then we don't need any further referrals. Otherwise, if a diagnosis is confirmed, then we might refer the baby to a specialist for more testing and treatment. Flash on your screens our further information about the newborn metabolic screening procedure is done. This is Eco Fabri reporting. Back to you, Steph. For today's breaking news, the nurses' responsibilities and the metabolic screening test procedure for newborn babies have shown by different health service websites. Here is Marilyn Lopez reporting. In the procedure of newborn screening, healthcare practitioner, particularly the nurses, perform the duties and responsibilities through the test to ensure the baby's safety. Nurses are expected to do the following things that is flashes on our screen. Nurses should be able to explain the importance and implication for the screening test. Must obtain the blood spot specimen for the newborn test in accordance with the state guidelines and appropriate collection techniques. Moreover, nurses should be knowledgeable about the basic genetic concept necessary to explain the condition to the parent. Should be ready to address the person's questions and newborn screening mechanics. And for the nursing staff on an each shift, should be responsible for checking that screening has been performed by the infants on their care. In addition to that, prior to the examination, parents or guardian must be have an informed to consent the guard regarding for the test which is written to be as also verbal as long as the reason is being and able to sign on a written contact and disputable. Also, nurses should be responsible in filling all the details on the newborn screening card. The card content is right to your screen. For the patient who will undergo this procedure, there will be a pre-screening application that will be addressed by the nurses through providing an important and needed information about the test. On the other hand, during the procedure, nurses will be the proper guidelines of the physician will do the following procedures such as on the first screen. And for the patient who will just undergo the screening test, nurses will provide interventions for the second screen which is include sharing the result and explaining it to the parent or guardian.
Nurses play a significant role in carrying their responsibilities through the whole process of the screening test. You can contact our information flashes on your screen if you have further inquiries. And this is Marilyn for the breaking news. Back to you, Step and Chantal. That's the latest headlines for today. Serving you, our regular, regular relevant, relevant, and realistic news, news from day to night. night. This is our news. Again, this is Stephanie Illustre. And I am Shantalati reminding to you all that quality and, and holistic care, care is the right. Is right. And, healthcare and healthcare providers will always do their mind. This, this is our news. news. Thank, Thank you, you and